Welcome to episode 39 of Pop Culture Unboxing with the Blu-ray Harpeck. We know this is the Blu-ray because yesterday we got the DVD one. Um, yeah, yesterday it was um, Mothman Prophecies, Horizon Alliance, um, Zombie Invasion, and Sanctuary. Those were the four movies. Uh, yes, they TV bucks. Just don't buy them down. Should be interesting. But the the Blu-ray, the Blu-rays are. First things first. We have Hansel and Gretel, a classic tale, horrifyingly, horrifyingly real. Um, I think I heard of this. Um, from the Brothers Grimm. I heard about this on Netflix. It's a retelling of a classic horror tale. Teen siblings are enslaved by a psychotic recluse within a gruesome house of horrors in the woods. This is original widescreen presentation, making of uh, cast commentary, uh, Hell's Crafty, Gag Rail Trailers. Uh, I don't know that much, but then at least there's a commentary. That was good for both real viewings. And the next thing we have is the the 2011 remake of The Thing. Not the remake, the uh, prequel. Uh, it's something called a prequel, but uh, for Bruce and Donna, there comes a chilling prelude to John Carpenter's classic cult film when the protagonist, Kate Lloyd, travels to an isolated outpost in the air and arc. For the expedition of a lifetime, she joins an initial team that unearths a remarkable discovery. Their relation quickly turns to fear as they realize that their experiment has freed a mysterious being from its frozen prison. Paranoia spreads like an epidemic that, that as the creature that can mimic anything it touches will pit human against human as it, as it tries to survive and flourish in a spine tingling thriller. That's full of frightening. <laughs> Found one person that liked it. <laughs> I, I joke because this was not a very well liked movie. Um, oh my, I've never seen it. I, I've, I've, I watched the original. The original was actually can be pretty slow at times. It's so, because picture of picture, exit of views, behind the scenes footage, and more, push up a button, delete scene, delete the sentence scenes, fire rights, feature commentary. Director and the producer. Um, Cause Blu-ray and DVD. It's the front. Nothing much on the back. Uh, the back has on the rail. I keep getting to show that the back. Um, that should be a good one. I've never, I've never seen that one. And we have. This is a little bit of a different. I don't know. This is Gut. I've never heard of this one. It's signed by the director. This is the, the Her Pack Limited Edition. Oh. There we go. There we go. Open this baby up. Um. It got good reviews from Van Cole, uh, Van Gogh, New York Times, Rue Morgue. New York, one of the best featured at New York City Horror Film Festival. Hmm. Cause three different commentaries. Oh. And it'll end ending on here. Something is missing in Tom's life. For a day he goes through the motions, becoming... Increasingly detached from those around him, his best friend Dan thinks he's, he's, he, he has the solution. Mysterious video he's got to see to believe when Dan shows him what, what, what Dan shows him leaves himself flooding him his mind with disturbing images and desires, blinding the two friends, binding the two friends together with its ugly secret. One video soon follows another and another, blurring line between reality and voyeuristic fascination fascination and the 
threatening to dismantle everything around them. Well, it's pretty weird. Good. Mm, that's interesting. And the last thing, <laughs> we have. We have a double feature of Hellraiser 1 and 2. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Somebody, somebody guessed Hellraiser as one of one of one of one of, one of them. I don't know. I don't know which one I ended up being wrong, but not even Hellraiser Bloodline anyway. But they thought it was Hellraiser, Hellraiser Hellworld. But um, I don't know which one's which one's the, the correct one. But this includes Hellraiser 1 and 2. Funny thing is, I actually have Hellraiser 2 on tape. I don't know if either he's on DVD or Blu-ray. I actually have both. I had the second one on tape. And it's on a tape with the original Dallas play. I should have back. I think it did. Let me just stick out the spec. Yeah. It's Hellraiser D. Hellraiser back. There we go. Because both the first one and the second one. When the when Christy Cotton the family, Christy Cotton's family moves into the ancestral their ancestral home, they're terrorized by the resurrected corpse of their uncle, who requires the flesh of them as murdered as a victim in order to become whole and alive again. Creepy, th thrillingly perver perverse tale, straddling he heaven and hell, extreme pleasure and unbearable pain, hell will haunt, you haunt your dreams. And then we had the sequel, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, the shocking follow-up to the film that refined horror over the two, two, deca two decades later remains the, the most brutal, brutally original sequel in horror film history, Claire Higgins, Ashley and Kent Cram well, Ashley Ashley Kent's back from the original. Well, like, co star in this hit sequel from the producer Clyde Barker that spraces the spraces the flesh like no other, surrendering itself to the labyrinth of Hellbound Hellraiser 2. I, I, I what's funny about that is I had been thinking of getting Hellraiser. Um, because it was one of the ones I did not have on DVD. Um, I picked up Takes the Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Street, Friday the 13th. Um, you know, the trinity of horror film, modern horror films. You know, classic modern horror film. This is, i I'd probably put that right up there with them. Um, at least in my lifetime. Uh, Hellraiser. You know, this, this, you know, Jade is... Yeah, the monster, horror monster trinity of Freddy, Jason, Michael, Pinhead, Leatherface. So, well, that takes care of that one. <laughs> that, that's what I love. It's like, it's, I mean, some people might have had th this. If you've never had it, I mean, you've never seen it, maybe because you thought it was gory. It's a good chance to actually now own it and watch it. So, I, 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 I. I don't, I actually, the funny stories, I've actually had only seen, well, Hellraiser 2, I had not seen the original, because the original was never, I don't think it was on, like, television at the time, they were only, like, shown two, you know, and it's, so, again, again, like, I only had two on tape, and I don't, I don't remember watching Hellraiser 1 much, but I do remember watching Hellraiser 2. It said it was on tape with Child's Play, which again I had that one. I had that one too. This is good stuff. Um, you know, and the Hellraiser wanted to make it worth the thing. I mean, it'd been nice to be the original, but the remake, yeah, it can't be too bad. I mean, you know, gets something in indie signed, and we got hands on grill, which. Yeah, get very worse than uh, the witch hunter one. <laughs>
the guy from Hawkeye. Um, I kid, I kid, I kid. Um, yeah. Well, tomorrow, there'll be an unboxing video tomorrow, I think. Uh, loot crate and loot wearable should be here tomorrow. Yeah, they should be here because they're both in the end. So wait, one Thursday, Boba should probably be here if not tomorrow, which we'll do it all. One more Boba, which I got to track, I got to ask about. It's both not here. Um, Air Black and Arcade Black are still wait ship shipping, but we're still waiting. I'd say with the Summer Black sale boxes. Um, oh, anime is the only one that shipped, though. It'll probably be the next week. So not in this week. Um, we'll see. Um, I was waiting on that, and I'm the only one waiting for it for month of September. Yeah. The next time, which will be episode 40? Yeah. I'll hurry up to 40. Wow. Crazy. Till next time.